Okay, so in section 1-2, we looked at what a function was. Now we're going to look at a different way that we can notate or write functions. Uh, we're going to be looking at what we call f of x notation or function notation, uh, which I have written right here. And that's a notation used to describe functions, which we read it as f of x. So when I, when I see something like this, we read that as f of x. The first letter or phrase names the function and the variable in parentheses is the independent variable for the function or also called the argument of the function. This is also referred to as Euler's notation. Okay? So function notation, Euler's notation, those two things mean the same thing that x, or whatever is in the parentheses, that just tells you what the independent variable is in the function. The f is just naming the function. It doesn't have to be f. It could be g, it could be h, it could be m, it could be uh, hornets, it could be dina, it could be anything. Okay? Um, it just names the function. Okay? So when we do that, the f of x basically takes the place of the dependent variable. Okay? So function notation takes the place of the dependent variable in a function and therefore represents the second component of the ordered pair. For example, if we have y equals 3h plus 2, that can be written in function notation as e of h equals 3h plus 2. So let's take a look at some examples of function notation here. So I have two examples here. We have g of m is the function with the name g and an independent variable of m. Edina of h is the function with a name of edina and an independent variable of h. So whatever is first outside of the parentheses, that's the name. Whatever is inside the parentheses, that's the independent variable. So if I look at this example one, it says t of f, that's how we read that, remember, is equal to 5 ninths times the quantity f minus 32. Evaluate t of 86. Well, if I'm going to evaluate t of 86, what that tells me is that I want to put into my function where f is, I'm going to put in 86. So t of 86 is equal to 5 ninths times, instead of f, I'm going to put in 86 minus 32. So if we plug that into our calculator, we can go to our calculator here and put in 5 ninths times 86 minus 32 if you forgotten in terms of making a fraction you do control and divide okay and I'm going to hit um, enter on that and you'll notice that we get 30 on that so back over here and let's put our answer then so the answer here would be 30 so when it, when f is 86 t of f is 30. So you can think of that as being an ordered pair 86 30. Okay? Now a second type of notation that we look at um, that goes along with function notation is what we call mapping notation. And mapping notation is just another way of, to express a function similar to the way we would express function I, I, something in function notation. Uh, we can use a colon after the name of the function and an arrow to show the mapping. Therefore, mapping notation for y equals 2x plus 6 can be written as m colon, where m is the, the name of the function, m colon x is paired with or at m maps x onto 2x plus 6. Okay, So generally when we read that, once again we're going to read it like this, the function m maps x onto 2x plus 6. Okay, So that's what we call when we say what we say something's called mapping notation. <laughs> So
So as we look at number two here, it says let f, the function f, map x onto x plus x squared plus x squared over 20, excuse me. Evaluate f of 10 and f of s plus f of 10. Well, f of 10 is just plugging 10 in here every place that I see an x. So each one of these x's, I'm going to put a 10 in instead. So f of 10, uh, or f maps 10 onto 10 plus 10 squared over 20. Well, 10 squared is 100. 100 divided by 20 is 5, 10 plus 5 is 15. So f of 10 would be 15. And then if I have f of s plus f of 10, well, we know f of 10 is 15. And f of s is just taking x out in each one of these places and replacing it with s. So that would be s plus s squared over 10. So if I'm going to add those two together, this is what I would end up with.